this video is an introduction to iMapBC, which is a government website, a mapping website with all sorts of information about ecosystems, soils, legal boundaries, um, jurisdictions, uh, anything, watershed boundaries, any kind of spatial or map data that the province has is accessible through iMap. Now, in order to use iMap, you must you work with Internet Explorer. It is the only browser that will work. You cannot use Chrome, Firefox, Safari, um, any of those. Uh, Microsoft Exchange, none of those work. So Internet Explorer, that is the browser that you're going to need to work with. When you're ready, you have that browser, you're going to Google iMapBC, which will take you to this website. The one that you're going to work with and is iMapBC 2.0, Silverlight Public. Click on that and it just takes a moment to set up. Now, this is a very powerful tool. Um, there's a fair amount to it. It can be a little bit clunky, but it, it, it works reasonably well. But what you're what you'll see, we'll start by clicking down here on the tab map players. And what you see is that right now all we have is a base map of the province. So you can click and drag this around. Um, it has roads and you can add the terrain as well. This looks like it's on right now. Now what we want to add um, for this exercise is BC's BEC map, so Biogeoclimatic Ecosystem Classification. The part why we want to do this is part of the BEC Ecosystem Classification System. Each zone has many subzones within it. We want to identify spec subzones as part of your plant collection. In other words, you want to navigate on this map and find where it is you found that plant. Was it somewhere in the Lower Mainland? Was it somewhere north of Mission? Did you find it in Maple Ridge at the Woodlot, which would be right over here? If yes, you need to you can use and access this map to find the location where you found your plant and then add the BEC layer. To do that, you're going to go to Map and Data Sources at the top. You're going to click on Add Provincial Layers. And a quick way is to just search for BEC, B-E-C. And what you'll see is there's different options. Does this maybe look familiar to anyone? These are different map scales. So this would be the BEC zones, subzones, and variants at 1 to 20,000 scale for a map. This would be a 1 to 250,000 scale. So let's select this one. This is the one we want, color themed. Click on OK. And now it will load this layer. Now let's say, so the woodlot is actually right in this area over here. That's Maple Ridge. This is Bonnick Lake. It's a good reference point. Now notice how there's legends now. So there's all these different back zones and sub zones. So for instance, um, there's different CWH zones, ESSF, which is higher elevation, um, etc. So there's all these different back zones and subzones, but the colors aren't coming. And that's because you're not zoomed in enough to get to the scale that you want. What's that for now? So what you can do is right click, zoom to extent, or zoom to visible scale, sorry zoom to visible scale. So that will zoom in a little bit more and at that scale is when you start to get the colors which will identify what it is, the, the layer that, um, sorry, the subzone that you're in. So if we were in the lower part of the woodlot which would be um, in this area here, we would be in this light green color. You can scroll through here and try and match colors. That's a little tricky to do. So another approach is to Select, oh boy, we're going to select what you're going to do, I think this is how we do it, let's go to markup, or sorry, analysis, analysis tab, and you're going to select the identified point, and you can click in that general area, and what it's now done is it's selected that whole area that's that color, and you can click on it and it will give you the information about that polygon, that area on the map. And so that area is within CWH and the subzone 
is the DM. That's what the label looks like, or this is another way of looking at the label. This is what you're going to want to write on your label for each plant. There's more information down here, you can see it down, um, and that's how that works. I can run through another quick example. Let's say we were, I'm going to navigate this one pan. Let's say we're somewhere uh, close to Chilliwack Lake, which we will be going to later in the term. And again, you have to go to uh, zoom in far enough so that you can, the colors of the back shows up. And here, what you can do is go again, pick your point, and if you want to figure out what this purple is, click on it. Make sure that that's the right one that you want. So I see how it highlights, and I'll select that, and it'll give me information. This is the um, MH MM subzone, so mountain hemlock zone, uh, moist air type. Okay, I hope that was helpful and an introduction to my model.